Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make and use the remote lever. It's a very simple and easy component to put together, but it's a great way to allow you to control on and off different types of components or automations that you may have set up in the game. Now if you find this tutorial helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, so a remote lever is very easy to make and can be made relatively early game. All you need is a button, a lever, and a stone slab. Very, very simple, but can still be very, very useful. Let's grab ourselves a couple of components here. So right off the bat, if we were to build a process that uses a lever, go ahead and put a block, and we'll put a lever on it. Inside of that block, we're going to go ahead and put a redstone torch. We'll drop a little bit of redstone. And we'll put down a redstone lamp. Now, whenever we turn this lever on or off, it will turn on or off that redstone lamp. The purpose of a remote lever is if you shift and then right click on a lever in the world, you can then right click that remote lever in your inventory and it will automatically turn that lever on and off. The best part is that it will work regardless of distance and even across dimensions as long as the lever's chunk is currently loaded. Chunk loader or someone else is in the area of the lever, you can activate that lever on or off regardless of your distance away. You have a system, maybe an automated process that you have on or off that you can turn on and off as needed. This will allow you to activate and unactivate that process regardless of where you are. Very handy to have. How can we use this? Well, let's show you an example. Here we have a wall and with a lever. Now, if we right click that, a secret door opens, allowing us access through the wall. Lever again, our wall closes. A secret wall is only as good as, as how secretive it is. If you could see a lever here, clearly you're going to be able to find that opening in the wall. So to make this a truly secret door, we don't want to be able to see this lever. So let's not. We go ahead and we grab ourselves a brick. Go ahead and break this lever and fill up the hole. Now if we go on the other side, that lever was controlling this redstone torch. Now we'll put the lever on this side, behind the wall. By taking our remote lever and shift, right-clicking on it, it is now activating this lever. Which means now, no matter where we are, no matter the distance, we can open up our secret door, which is now truly secret, as there's no visible lever to open and close it. So, just one of the many uses you can use for a remote lever, but a very easy and early game component to make that you could really have a lot of fun with. And uh, carrying several of them allow you to run different types of processes. So uh, something I thought would be a lot of fun to kind of show today, uh, something that you might find useful in your own game. Uh, if you find an interesting use for it, I would love to see that. Uh, as well as if you have any questions or suggestions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please throw those down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can. As well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, I'm always looking for new ideas. But going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.